Welcome back. We are just days away from a once in a lifetime celestial event. The total eclipse of the sun will happen on Monday with North Texas, of course, being a prime location for the experience, barring cloudy weather, which we're hoping doesn't happen. Joining me this morning is Dr. Ashley Greeley, NASA, NASA heliophysicist, to share more about the event. Good morning. Hi, Brandon. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. All right. So from solar eclipse glasses to a pinhole in a paper, all of uh, these ways to watch the total eclipse have been discussed. Which would you say would you think would be the best way to do it? <laughs> oh, best way. There's so many great ways to view a solar eclipse. And just to start, an eclipse does occur when the moon passes directly between the sun and the earth, casting a shadow on the surface of the Earth. Um, Dallas is lucky that they are in the path of totality, which means for up to four minutes, uh, the moon will completely block the view of the sun. Um, up until that time, uh, solar viewer glasses are a great way to observe the sun. Um, but pinhole projectors, I think, are also pretty great. Uh, that requires punching a hole in a piece of paper, uh, using a colander, or waffling your fingers a bit to see a projection of the sun on the ground. Um, it doesn't feel like a, a compromise to me because this is actually a, a really cool bit of science. It's exactly how the, the first cameras work, so it's a nice connection between optical physics and, and sort of the real life. Um, so whatever you have access to is the best way to view the eclipse. Are you have segued perfectly into my next question. You mentioned cameras, so we know we have to wear these safety glasses to view it head on. But what is the best way to take photos of the eclipse? I've seen a lot about this online. I know NASA has actually chimed in on this, but I, I wanted to see if you might be able to just kind of elaborate on using your a camera or your cell phone camera to view or take pictures of the eclipse. Sure, there are two different parts. In totality, um, you can just take pictures of the sun and the, the corona without any protection. You can also look at it during those few minutes. But for the rest of the time, during a partial eclipse, um, you'll need to use your solar viewer glasses over your cell phone camera lens because there are some delicate sensors in there that unfortunately would be damaged by the sun's rays, just pointing it directly without any protection. If you have anything larger than a cell phone camera, a digital SLR, um, a telescope or binoculars, you, you really need specialty lenses for that. Your solar viewer glasses aren't gonna be big enough to fully cover uh, the lenses and you, you really need that to get the full protection. Never look directly at the sun as we all know. <laughs> okay, and some of our viewers wanna know if you take these eclipse glasses and you put that over the lens of your camera on your cell phone, is that okay? Sure, yeah, if your um, cell phone camera lens is completely covered by your eclipse glasses, yes, it is okay to take pictures of the, the partial eclipse leading up to totality. If you don't feel quite comfortable with that, you can tape those on there for some added security. All right, so real quick, we're, we're almost out of time here. What are you most excited about? I, I know you guys are looking forward to this. Yeah, I'm actually coming to Dallas uh, for the total solar eclipse, and I'm just really excited to share that with everybody. Um, it's something where scientists, citizen scientists, and general public alike uh, can really come together over the solar phenomenon. And I just, I love seeing people's excitement and willingness to, to learn about the sun in this time. And yeah. just to see it, I'm really excited to see it. <laughs> All right, Dr. Ashley Greenlee with NASA. We appreciate your time this morning. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, Fox 4 is your solar eclipse headquarters. On April 8th, we're going to have everything you need to know about the eclipse, starting with Good Day at 4 a.m., and that will continue on through totality in the afternoon. You can also learn more about the eclipse on our website, fox4news.com, or even on our streaming channel, Fox Local.